Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Okay, today's project is how to draw the Alamo in Texas. I'm going to take two fingers at the top in the center and put a dot. And I'm going to take one finger at the bottom on the left and put another dot. Starting on this left hand side, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across to the right and the end of my paper. Now, the Alamo is symmetrical, so whatever I draw on the left, I'm going to draw on the right. I come back to my dot and I draw a little curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, little curve line down on the right. Come back to the left, draw a little straight line out. On the right, little straight line out. Come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line down. On the left, come on the right, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left, put a little straight line going down. Come to the right, put a little straight line going down. Come back to the left, draw another little straight line going out. Come back to the right, draw another straight line going out. Come back to the left, draw a little straight line down. Come back to the right, draw a little straight line down. Now, come back to the left and draw a straight line out, straight line down, all the way, connect. Come over here on the right, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line going all the way across to the edge of my paper. On the left hand side, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line going off the edge of my paper. I come down here on the left and I put a dot and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. And I come over here on the right hand side and right about here I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Okay? Alright. Now I come back to the inside. And right here in the center, starting where this corner is and this corner is, I'm going to draw two skinny rectangles. Straight line, straight line, straight line, and right underneath I'm going to draw it again. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, across. Right in the center I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines connect. On the left hand side I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. Right in between, I draw one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, and right even with this one, I draw one, two straight lines, then I draw one, two, one, two straight lines. Right here on that center, I'm going to come down and I'm going to draw a little straight line, straight diagonal in on the left, little straight line, straight diagonal in on the right. Okay? Straight down again in the center. I'm going to draw a bigger straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Okay. Now, on the left hand side, I draw a curve line down, connect on the left, now I come the opposite direction, curve line down, connect on the right. One more time, curve line down, connect, curve line down, connect. Jump over, now on the right hand side, curve line down, straight line, 
curve line down, straight line, curve line down, straight line, curve line down, straight line. Right about here, I'm just going to draw one straight line, one straight line, jump over, one straight line, one straight line. Okay? I know this looks like a lot of lines, but it'll make sense in a minute. I come inside this space. And I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come on the left, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come over here on the top part, and we're going to mimic these lines. So this is straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come all the way down to the center and about three quarters of the way we're just going to draw a straight line across and then we're going to fill this in with straight lines going down and then we're going to cross them again straight line going across. Now everybody's is going to look different because we all draw differently. So we're just going to try and keep everything in order up in this section two straight lines and cross. On the left, two straight lines and cross. On the right, straight lines in the center. All the way across. Okay. Now we come over and we're going to draw a single skinny rectangle in straight line, straight line, straight line. Connect on the right, jump over, skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come straight down and we're going to draw a square. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On the right, and now straight line, straight line, straight line on the left. Now we're going to draw inside. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And once more, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside these spaces, we draw straight lines, cross, straight lines, cross, straight lines, cross, and straight lines, cross. Lots of straight lines. Lots and lots. Okay, let me see if I've done everything. Yep, I think I have. Now I'm going to add some clouds, so I'm just going to go... Curve line, straight line, curve line. This can be any way you want. Come up to the top, curve line, straight line. It's a windy day. And one falling off. Curve line, straight line. There we go. All right. I'll know if I missed up some lines once I start coloring. Let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, in order to see what I've drawn, this whole section of the Alamo. I'm going to make one kind of peachy apricot adobe color. Now if you don't have a lot of different colors of browns you can use your regular brown lightly and then use it dark for the rest of the building. But let's start off so that you can see what you're coloring. This is all building This is building. Even I get mixed up. And this is building. So all of this is building. So I'm making that all one color. And this is building. This is a side building. So this is all one color. Then, so that I can see what I just drew, I'm going to take a brown. This is when you would use a darker color. And I'm just going to do the window sills and the outlines so that I can physically see what I'm coloring because otherwise this is very confusing. It's a beautiful building but it's got a lot of intricate little doodads on it that all need to have their own color. So the easiest thing to do, like I said, is just use your regular brown and use this dark so that you can see. Now these are columns right here. So I'm going to use my darker brown for that. That's these little goodies. And this 
should also be a darker brown. Now, like I said, if you don't have different colors of brown, you can just use your regular brown and color that in darker. Then, to add one more color, I'm going to do my doorway, this whole section, my windows, these are windows, I'm going to make these gray. So we still can see kind of what the design component components are of this building. And like I said, it's very busy with a lot of intricate windows and columns. Once you've done that, you can kind of see a little bit better what you're doing. Now on the bottom, I did a light green. You got to remember, this is Texas, so there's not a lot of color and then I did a darker green for my plants over here and here and this is plants so I did that and then I really wanted my background sky to pop so I used blue green. Now you can make all kinds of artistic decisions about color. These are the ones I chose. It's up to you. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my Alamo all colored in, ready to be part of Texas history, United States history also. Okay, bye bye.